Hey guys, so I just wanted to talk to you today about cleaning your brushes and what that looks like and a little bit about Arbonne's brushes as well. Um, kind of what I do to clean the brushes, obviously, just said that. Hope you don't mind my son in the background. He might get a little fussy. I don't know what's going on with him today, but um, I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I'm going to be as real with you as possible. And the real me is having to work while taking care of my kiddos. Um, I dropped my daughter off at um, preschool for the first day today. That was a little sad. I'm like, oh, she's growing up so fast. Where did three years go? I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that. Um, really, there are so many different ways to clean brushes. There's so many different products out there. You would just Google it and it's like makeup cleaner everywhere. But the common mistake that people make is that it, you only can clean your brushes with a specific thing that says brush cleaner. Um, I don't want you to feel like you have to do that by any means because um, really anything is going to work. The best things you can use is um, a gentle soap. Some people even use Dawn soap. I'm going to show you how I do it today with um, Arbonne's baby soap. A lot of people using baby soap is a good way to go because it's a gentle soap. Um, so that's one way I'm going to show you. Another way people do it with Arbonne products is something with the RE9 toner. It's like a little spray that you put on after you cleanse your face. And it just, the toner in your face helps get it, you know, does that extra step and does the, gets rid of the extra dirt and cleaning it and just making it just extra fine tuned. So a lot of people just spray that RE9 toner on there, on their brushes as well. Um, I personally don't do that just because I'm going to buy something for my face and it is a higher priced item that I want to use it for my face. Um, a cruelty free spray that is also out there is by e.l.f. You can get that at $8 on Amazon. So that's a one too that I kind of like, but um, I'm going to use what's in my house because I'm not going to go out and buy an extra product. It's too much money. Um, so I use this because I obviously have kiddos. I just put a bowl full of warm water and I just do a little squirt, super little, don't need that much. And that's all I'm going to do. Make it nice and soapy, okay? And um, this is actually from Echo Tools, which is another vegan cruelty company. Yeah. You can get these at Target and Walmart, and they're actually really yeah. affordable brushes. Yeah. Um, I really like that. It's one of my favorite brushes, actually. So, All right, guys, so step one, cleaning your brushes. Um, insert tiny little bits of baby soap. Again, I'm using Arbonne's baby soap. That's what I'm using because that's what I have in my house. Um, and I'm a firm believer in pure, safe, chemical free, paraben free, um, vegan gluten free products um, just in my home. I want to make sure I'm giving my kids the safest option so that's why I'm using my Arbonne. You can use your own baby soap. Um, some people even use Dawn soap, just a gentle soap. Just don't make the mistake if um, you don't have to use something that's designated for brush cleaning, okay? If it says brush cleaning, it probably works for brush cleaning, but don't feel like that is something you have to do. Um, again, the one I do like is from e.l.f. It's like a drugstore price. It works okay for traveling uh, if you want to do that. Buy it on Amazon. I like when I'm traveling, I use my Arbonne Dissolve as Day Wipes. Um, and I just wipe the brush on there back and forth. Um, just to do a quick little clean when I'm traveling. So again, step one, put that little bit of baby water soap in there, like I showed you earlier. Let your brush soak. Um, and then step two would be it gently back and forth like this, okay? And you can see all that nasty makeup just coming off. It's pretty gross. And you just want to want to get really into it. See, look at all that. And I recommend cleaning your brushes at least once a week. If you're not wearing makeup that whole week, you know, still like maybe just do a spray or something and not do it as intently, but you know, sanitation, you don't eat off of a dirty counter, right? You don't um, shower in a dirty shower, hopefully. You don't, you know, there's a lot of gross things that you don't do. Don't put these brushes on your face if you haven't cleaned them in a while. Because I mean, I clean mine every week and that's pretty gross. It's just like after one week of use. Okay. 
again this is a dollar store shelf mat slider thing people use silicone mats meat presses lots of different ways i use this because it's at the dollar store and i am on a budget budget all right y'all so then once you wipe it off don't forget to get a second bowl and wipe off all the soap because you don't want soap on your brush or on your face we want soap on your face, just not on your brushes. So that is very important, okay? And it's so important to clean your brushes because you don't want bacteria on your face and bacteria builds in your brushes, it just does. And it gets powder gets cocked in there and caked in there and it's just really gross. And you don't want to do that. And so if you're experiencing a breakout in your face and you haven't cleaned your brushes, I would try cleaning your brushes because it might be that also chinking your pillowcase, that might be that too. All right, so I just wanna quickly tell you the brushes that are in the Arvon um, kit. Because again, I talked to you about that earlier. There's going to be the one, the only, the lovely powder brush. And I'm also, when I, you can rub them on the towel too. Just remember, do it like you would do it on your face. You don't do this to your face, right? You break your brushes. You kind of just brush it on your face. And you can just kind of use your hands and get in there. As long as your hands are clean. Don't do this if you've just gone poop and didn't wash your hands or do something else gross. Don't recommend that. But it comes with this really sweet powder brush and I really, really like it. I've always used Echo Tools, always, because it's affordable. Find at Target, Costco, or not Costco, Target, Walmart. I really like Echo Tools and I've always used them because they are a cruelty free vegan company um, and I liked their wood, which is what this one is. I'm just pinching and kind of getting that yuckiness out. Um, but I loved them because I loved the weight and the way it fluffed on my face. But I found that I really like Arbonne's brush. I'm just kind of pleasantly surprised. I wasn't sure if I'd like it. I know I shouldn't say that because I'm an independent consultant. But that's honest to God truth. I was not sure I would like these brushes because everyone has their favorites. Um, but I use these and I liked it a lot. It has, I love the handle. It has a little like, like this is just straight on. And this has a little like bump, like a bump that I can just hold. And it's really got great grip to it. And the powder goes on super smooth. I'll show you how I use makeup using the art, or put makeup, how I use makeup. Um, how I do that with the Arbonne brushes in another video. So it comes with, like I said, it comes with the uh, um, powder brush, comes with the blush brush, which is the tapered end here, which I really, I'm learning to like it, to be honest with you. It's, I like that it's lightweight. I really like that it's, um, vegan, it's cruelty free, it's gluten free products in there and you can, it's a company trusted. I obviously like Arbonne Trusted also, I wouldn't be a consultant. Um, but I'm also a human being who likes other products as well. So just because I'm a consultant doesn't mean Arbonne is the end all, be all for me. It's one of my top brands up there. It's my fav one of my all time favorites. But there are other brands out there too and I'm gonna be as real with you as possible because that's how I roll. Um, but I've always used this Sephora blush brush here, which I like the weight of it and the grip to it, and it goes nicely, especially because it tapers at the end. But this brush was $40, and that's so expensive. I mean, if you're a beauty guru and you do this for like a living and you want to buy really expensive brushes, go for it, my friends, and go buy expensive brushes. I am a mother of two who lives in a house with a tarp on the roof because we can't afford to fix it. So I am your average everyday human being. And $40 brushes was just a little out of my price range. I did get this before I had kids though, back when I was young and single and I could buy clothes and I was still fit looking, <laughs> you know. Um, but this whole kit was $40 at Arbonne and it had all those brushes in it. And this one brush was 40 bucks, so I was like, whoa. So if you maybe are just starting out with makeup, you're looking for a good brush set, I would recommend that just because it's a really good deal to get a good brand brush set. All right, yes, so you are soaking it in the soap water, you're rubbing it on this mat, rinsing it off. All right, guys, so you keep cleaning your brushes, and I usually do it until when I pinch it, the water is clear, 
because sometimes you clip pinch it and the water's still brown and then you know your makeup brush is still pretty gross. So I just keep doing that until, and I'm lightly pinching, I'm not pulling, I'm just like lightly gliding my fingers through as you can kind of see. And it's turning out to be pretty clear, so it's good. The thicker the brush, the harder it is to clean, which is why I'm kind of using the Dissolve the Day Wipe too, just to really get in the, in there. Like, and I wipe it on here, yes, but um, just kind of doing that extra step. Lastly, guys, and this is always forgotten, not always, but I feel like it's forgotten quite a bit. <laughs> My son's smiling at me, sorry. Um, is clean your handle. We clean this part, but we often forget to clean this part. Um, we clean our counters, we clean our fridge handles. Um, I think it's super important that we clean that up because bacteria can still collect on there. So I just wanted to mention that too, guys. To clean your handle. We are gross folk and we get, and I don't know about you, but when I do my makeup, a lot of times I'm swatching it up on my hands and you touch your brush, then you're like swatching it up and then you touch your brush, then you're like, cool, let's just put this, and you put it on your bathroom, it's nasty. To clean your handles, that's enough said. <laughs> don't be afraid of, I want to pull um, your brush like strands out. If you want to move it open, that's fine. See if you can't brush it out lightly with your fingers, that is fine. Um, I don't do a twisty motion like this. That's going to break your bristles. You're just going to want to go back and forth. Um, I also do a little bit of a pinching motion lightly. Um, Forefinger, thumb. It's kind of getting that extra ugh, off. Okay, and it takes a while to clean your brushes, so be patient. That's why I say if you want to do a spray uh, every once in a while, it's okay. I like the e.l.f. one. Um, if you're going to do that route, I don't do that anymore because I don't find it necessary. I also do, um, so these are Arbonne's Dissolve the Day Wipe. Um, it's very nice, I'll show you too, if I'm traveling or if I want another quick thing or if I'm doing my makeup and I want to do a quick transition. Okay, I'm going to clean it. That's not completely clean, I'm just going to show you how I do another one. Okay, so this is going to be, I'll show you Arbonne's brush here. Um, these are Arbonne's little kit. You can just lightly brush. I just clean these ones, they're not as gross, but um, you can brush it on there. And I like to use those too, you can still see the dirtiness. So if you're traveling, that's a good way to go for sure. <laughs> Such a cutie. Um, okay, so then once you're all done and it's clean, again I'm going to go back through this because the fatter brushes are going to want to clean some more. Um, I want to talk to you guys about, so you wash it, you set it on your towel, you move on to the next guy, do the same deal, getting it all clean, pinching out some yuckiness. This is Arbonne's brushes too, by the way. Um, these are very lightweight, I like that. I like this one because it is thick wood and I just feel like the handle feels strong in my hands. These though I like because they're super light, you know, and agile. Um, I'm surprised because I never usually use a foundation brush before. This is Arbonne's foundation brush. I never really use them. I use more of a beauty blender at my fingertips because I never really liked foundation brushes. But I actually like this one. It's very nice for your face. Kind of just brushes on there like a paintbrush and it actually doesn't do any weird lines or anything like that. So Arbonne did a really great job with the foundation brush. Arbonne's brushes come in a kit. They come in this little black kit here. Um, which is pretty cool. And they also come with um, this little sheet of, you're okay buddy, you're okay. They come with this little sheet of what brush is what. Um, so that's really great for starting out. Um, I also tell people all the time not to limit yourself to what the brush is used for. So on every single brush you can have, it'll say like this is for liquid foundation or this is a blush brush. Usually blush brushes are the ones that are going to be tapered upward. It's really good when you're doing those contours on your cheeks. But just because it says that's what it's used for, don't be afraid to use it, you know, elsewhere. Like for example, a lot of times these tiny little pinpoint ones are really great for concealer. Just to pop it on your skin and hide that one area. And I can go over that more in a different video. I'm just going to show you. Um, so that would be how you clean it just in a bowl. There's you can use a meat pounder, you can use um, a silicone pad, you can go on Amazon for like five bucks. 
You can use just a raggy washcloth. You can use these dollar store ones, which I use. Um, and when you're all done cleaning it, um, you will make sure the most important part is you are not cleaning it or drying it like this. And you're not drying it like this. You are drying it. I saw this on. Oops. You're okay, buddy. Are you upset that you can't grab the leaf? Are you upset? Are you upset you can't grab the leaf? Gotta oh. love kiddos, right? Aww. You'll take that. So, I always, when you're doing the cleaning, you pop it on your towel, let it kind of air dry while you clean the other ones. But when you're done, grab a hanger. I saw this on an Instagram post. And I really like it. And you're just gonna wrap your um, ponytail around it, like so. If I can do it correct. These are kind of crappy ponytails, so pardon me here. And you're just gonna wrap it over, make it nice and tight. And I'll show you um, a photo of how this looks when it's all done. And you just let your brush hang over there, pop it in the shower overnight it'll dry and it's so important to hang these upside down because brushes are made I'm taking that out because that's not completely clean like I said um, but brushes are made where this metal part here is actually holding all the ends of your bristles so if you're holding your brush and this is the tip part of your brush while your makeup is the, obviously the end of the bristles are gonna start here. So, if you're letting it dry like this, you're letting all that moisture cake in there. And what happens when moisture is caked in somewhere? It gets moisture or um, mildew and gross, and that's bacteria just caking in there. So let it dry like this. Um, I also recommend when you're storing your brushes, you put them in, upside up. I put mine in a mason jar, you'll put them in a pencil container, it doesn't really matter. But store them right side up. Store them right side up. Um, because you spent money on these brushes, whether it was 10 bucks or like this $40 kit from Amazon or Amazon, Arbon, um, you don't want to store them upright um, because it keeps them not smashed, not pressed, not shoved in a drawer or a bag. They get, Arbon comes with this kit, like I said, and it's really great for traveling, but other than traveling, I do not use it because I like to store my brushes upright because that's going to keep them not smashed. Um, and again, Arbonne's brushes are really good. I just got them. I've always used Echo Tools with Four, which is a another cruelty company. These are three brushes that I got in like Ipsy bags that I just want my daughter to use. But I really like Arbonne's brushes. I'm just now starting to use them all, so I want to do another video on that entirely. Um, that's another brush I got in an Ipsy bag that I use my daughter to let her play with. But Arbonne's brushes, they do come in a good little kit. All. This is Arbonne's um, powder brush, and I like the weight of this too. It feels really good in my hand, just like my favorite brush here. I love the brushes that are thicker and give you a good hand to hold. I love powder brushes like that. The I've always used Sephora's um, powder um, blush brush, which Sephora is not a cruelty com free company like Echo Tools and like Arbonne. It is tested on animals, which is a huge bummer to me. I didn't know that until after I bought this brush. Um, that they are a non-cruelty free company. So I still use it because I spent like 40 bucks on this. So that thing I wanna just let you guys know that I spent $40 on this one brush eons ago, um, like five, six years ago. And that I've spent $40 on this whole kit from our one. And I like it just as much, if not more. So if I would have known about this Arbonne kit a while ago, I would have been like, oh, I could have gotten a cruelty-free brush set for mega cheap. Interesting. So, yeah. And, yeah, so just to recap. Hi! Isn't he just so cute? So, bowl full of warm water, you're going to want to do um, baby soap. People use Dawn soap. Um, just a gentle soap. Rinse it in there, find something rougher to rub your brushes on. Um, and I'll show you like a little photo series of like the end of this video so you can kind of see. Um, if you're traveling, I like to use these dissolve the day wipes just because it's really easy to clean that up. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's the majority of it. If you have 
questions, just comment below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, and if you have not subscribed, subscribe. Sometimes talking is hard, right, guys? <laughs> if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so below. Um, my Facebook link is um, going to be in the description, so find me on Facebook, friend me, like my page. Um, I also do photography, so you can look at me there. Uh -huh. Yeah, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope y'all are having a really great whatever month it is when you're watching this. It's January when I'm making it, so who knows? Maybe it's April when you're watching this, guys. Bye. Thank you so much. And again, if you have questions, just comment below.